The Little Loom House is promoting and preserving the art of weaving by bringing people in and letting them try their hand at this folk art. When this studio is buzzing with people, it just is so loud in here, it sounds like a construction shop. I'm serious. The sound of a wooden beater securing yarn into place is music to the ears. That's what At least that's the case for Ruth Goodhart when she gets lost in the rhythm of weaving. When you see it line after line, you can just get so lost in the colors and, I don't know, the perfection of it all, I guess you could say. As her feet and hands move in sync, it's like watching a choreographed dance, except at the end, you have something to keep. You can weave absolutely anything. This age-old skill and other textile arts are being taught at the Little Loom House in Louisville. Tucked back on Kenwood Hill Road near Iroquois Park are three cabins built in the late 1800s. They're all listed on the National Register of Historic Places. We've been a cultural gathering space for artists, creatives of all, all types, which is why our founder, Lou Tate, was drawn here. Lou Tate was a master weaver and inventor of the table loom. This innovative space-saving machine was sold for more than 20 years to people around the world. They're still used in the weaving studio today. We can take them into schools, we travel with them, we teach people how to weave everywhere. A single thread is the very start of the items we use every day. Amos is thankfully noticing a new generation starting to see the power within this craft. Well, I think hand crafts in general are coming back. So I think, yeah, I think we're coming back. Alex Durham, WOKY News.